Not only are people still concerned with where East Palestine stands six months later, but researchers and political leaders have also questioned if the village is really safe. U.S. Senators Sherrod Brown and J.D. Vance have both called for health monitoring to see if there are long-term effects from the derailment. Gina Cadigan spoke to experts who are sharing their concerns and what they believe need to be done moving forward. Gina. Derek Madison, the U.S. EPA and Norfolk Southern have done a lot to clean up the site, but some say research shows they're not doing a thorough enough job. Six months after the derailment, uh, I do have some concerns about remaining chemical exposure risks. After taking samples from in and around the train derailment site, some researchers feel East Palestine might not be safe. So we know that there were uh, acute health impacts from these exposures. And uh, we also know that uh, it was caused not only by the initial disaster itself, but the cleanup activities. Andrew Welton and his team of researchers from Purdue feel the buildings were contaminated from the start. Buildings were contaminated with uh, butyl acrylate, ethyl hexyl acrylate, benzene, and other chemicals. Other researchers, like Dr. Kaldeep Singh, are working to get the research data that the EPA has already gathered and analyze it to see if there's concern. And we haven't seen any specific contamination risk come out as of yet, but that, that still does not rule out that there won't be any contamination. The EPA hasn't released much data yet, but says there's no evidence to suggest there's contamination of concern in buildings something that Purdue research doesn't match up with. If EPA reviewed CTEH's own building testing records, they would find that CTEH contractors left the building because of the odors and chemicals they experienced within 10 minutes. With health risks and the safety of homes still unknown, researchers feel the cleanup process should be followed by thorough testing to prove chemicals that may have been left behind are gone for good. With more local news, I'm Gina Cadigan.